<laughs> so you're the new fellow. Lucas said you know a thing or two. Question is, can we trust you? Would I be here if you didn't? Probably not. Did Lukesh tell you who's in charge? I'll speak of the devil. Started to worry you weren't coming. It couldn't be helped, Goathead. I had to get a document written up, and the nearest priest I can trust is in Yanowitz. <laughs> Not writing your will already, sir. <laughs> Who is this? Henry. Lukesh brought him. He nicked Nicholas's hunting horn for us. <laughs> then I'm sure we'll get on like a house on fire. Is everyone here? Everyone. Except that fool Rada and the charcoal burner. No one's seen hide nor hair of him. We can't delay. If he's not back by evening, we go without him. Go, go away. Leave me alone. Hmm. No. Let me sleep. Go, go away. Leave me alone. Here's the problem. My friend is a birder, and he left a few rare nightingales with me for safekeeping. They're good to trade. Rich gentlemen hang them caged up in their chambers. It keeps their wives from fretting when they're off drinking and wenching. I see. The trouble is, the nightingales are gone. I don't know how, but the birds have flown. Hang on, surely you're not asking me to go flapping around looking for birds? Not exactly. Luckily, their wings are clipped. So they won't be far, and the watchman in the tower told me they headed off toward Vranik. I have traps prepared. It should be easy enough to catch them in those. Fine, but how will I know where to put the traps? I hear they like pine woods, and there's a pine-covered hill just before Vranik. Right. A bloody great wood. That's just why you need to listen out. Nightingales have a distinctive song. When you hear it close by, you set a trap on the spot. They kept twittering away the whole time they were here, so I can remember the tunes. I'll sing them to you. I can't wait. It went something like this. <coughs> what? People keep birds like that in their houses? It's like the sound a cat makes when you pull it by the tail. You know how it is. The gentry's got all manner of odd tastes. The question is, can you remember it? Can you repeat that? <coughs> of course. Remember it now? Shields for fuck's sake! Cover yourselves! Wait till they raise the ladders! Oh, yeah. 
now! Sir, we should give the order. Let's see if Istvan Toth can worm his way out of this one. Don't tempt fate, Hanush. Istvan! It's over! You want us to come and get you? I wouldn't advise that. Your friend Divish wants to see his wife alive again. And Sir Radzik? Are both hostages unharmed? For now, Hanush, unless circumstances change. Well, I'm glad to hear it. My guest is also safe and sound, but he's also quite keen to go home. I imagine you feel the same way. It's been a long time since you warmed yourself at your own half. I'm in no hurry. I've plenty of supplies here. Grand view and excellent company. What more could I want? Your freedom! Freedom? Freedom to get an arrow in the back? Sir, we are all noblemen here. All bound by honour. I give you my word as a knight and lord, and that of my companions. If you release Lady Stephanie and Sir Radzig, you may leave the castle with your men and go on your way unharmed. There's no sign of them. Move on. There! I'm glad to see Ishvan kept his word, sir. Not half as glad as I am, Your Grace. Well, we kept our word too. And now Toth has had his head start and he's fair game. Which way do they go? To the north, but I would be careful, Sir Hans. Fear not, Your Grace. I have twice as many men as he. <laughs> well, I won't keep you any longer. I'm sure the two of you have a lot to say to each other. Let's go! All right, Father. I am. They treated me quite decently. Although they did steal my horse, so I'll have to go back on foot. Let's see how strong those walls are. Let it rip! <laughs> uh, that was just the first shot. 
the trebuchet has to be calibrated. That's perfectly normal. I'll have the range in no time. There's the quarry, and there's the marshland. Now, where's the stream? Jesus, what a fucking view! 